we'd let Frisk stare at us for a bit. Staring into my soul. He wants my spaghetti. He's been tempted with spaghetti so many times, but the spaghetti was terrible. His mind's actually good. Now, shall we continue then? Let's. And we are back, ready to hopefully finish off the Hotlands. Or are we? Oh, wait, yes, we are. Yes. Right, this room. I did put it in, right? Yep. Zoom tight! Yeah, sorry about that. Let me just sneeze, and that's reflexes. We haven't stumped on any spiders! Well, maybe a few. Not in this game. This boss fight is a nightmare if you don't do a certain thing. I'm going to get as far as I can. Good luck. Uh, uh, that's not good. Oh dear, she's pouring us spiders. A cup of spiders. It's horrible. Also, no bribing her does nothing. Other than reduce attack. Yeah. That's not how you pacify her. Go about it. Um, it's like three ways to pacify her. Mm -hmm. And one, at least one way to just plain skip the fight without it ever even starting. Yes. Oh no, she's throwing food at me now. I like how the spiders get in on the act. We're all having fun. Era? Hey, yeah? Get ready to run. Yeah. I've seen videos of this. That's right, it's a giant, sentient, evil spider muffin. And yet it is also cute. I believe you have to fight it three times, maybe four. I am actually doing better than I expected. Ah. Mostly because I've never done this fight before. Last time I'm paying her. I don't know if I can get through another round of Muffet Spider Muffin. We need to heal.
unmuting my mic and saying that again. <clears throat> of note, Muffet is a fan character. This uh, character was added to the game as a result of somebody paying a crap load of money. It's like a thousand dollars. They were I based think... on the premise that the Spider Bake Sale existed. I think it might be the 10k tier for Muffet. I actually because... looked at the Kickstarter. There were two. There was the 500 and thousand tier. Ah, fair enough. Well, that's not ominous at all. Note, by the way, I don't know if this is getting recorded or not, but the executable has just changed file names to Undertale the Musical. Yeah, that's not being recorded, just because it, it's, ah. it would be annoying to just record that full, solely for this. Fair enough. Also of note, to anyone who's played Final Fantasy VI, you may find that tower, the moon and stars, and the dress very familiar. Do we skip ahead for the audience's sake? No. No, we do not. I'm assuming that I can skip ahead because this is a replay. Yes. But this... Anyone in the audience here who's played Final Fantasy VI... staircase. This is something you need some kind of hovering mechanism to get up or down. Yeah. Uh, just... <sighs> this section... Just, uh... And you know, when every I, time... Hmm? When I first saw these, I thought these were damage or something that I had to avoid. Every time I see... This scene now gets added to the pile, but anything along the lines of Araya de Mezzoterapet, uh, that's the original opera scene from Final Fantasy VI, for those who don't know. It's lovely, you should look it up, by the way. Um, I'm reminded of the hack, Awful Fantasy. Have you ever seen this hack, Ura? I have not. Well, the, uh, the entire opera scene is pretty much the same. Now, have you seen the entire opera scene of the original? Of course. So, you know how at the end of the, of the opera scene, she throws the bouquet of flowers off the edge of the tower? Yes. In the Something Awful hack, the bouquet has been sprite swapped to a baby. <laughs> that's the big change. That's, that's about it. Yeah. Just And quote the characters in the audience, Did she just throw a baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yes, we have seen this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago. Did you remember it? Here's hoping you did. Otherwise, you're fucked. Just oh, a moment. Pardon I'm my going language. to change the background window when image for no particular reason. Right. I did not pull up the solution to this puzzle just to see what happens. Seriously, totally. Just like this isn't a patronizing exercise. I'm personally assuming Ura changed the background image to a horrifying picture of Flowey, just so if anything happens to the game midway through, we'll all be terrified. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I screwed it up. You're trapped forever, if I recall. Yeah, I'm trapped forever. No, no, I may not be trapped forever, but I won't have enough time to make it. Yeah, this... Yeah, I pulled up the solution. Yeah. I made it about halfway!
Works like that in Reboot. Yes. But I reiterate... <sighs> because... Seriously? Just... Seriously. Ugh. <sighs> That is important to note. Uh, once again, your heart's going to change colors here. But every color heart has different mechanics. Now, this is something interesting. Because every color heart has different mechanics, it can be said. I'm bad at words today. Yes, you are. At least you're saying them this time. Words. Come on, brain, stop being shit. <sighs> right. Every heart has different mechanics. Now, the mechanics of these hearts relate to something important later. We've already seen that your heart is actually your soul. So different colored souls function in different ways. Now, something we'll encounter later is, uh, well, one, we've noticed so far that every piece of armor and weaponry has come in a set of two. And they're related. These are everyone who has come before you. It's kind of obvious, really. I mean, where else would human gear come from here, right? Yep. And they all clearly had distinct fighting styles. Well, we'll see something later that shows just why each heart has a different color and what weapons each human used. I don't think we actually face Omega in this run. We do as long as you did a reset. I haven't done a reset. This is just after the game. You didn't use the reset command to reset his memory, too? You can only do that on, like, once you've beaten the pure ending. Oh. Otherwise, he keeps his memory. Uh oh, did we remember his name? I think so. Well, it may be for the best, but honestly, if that happens, you're. I don't think the viewers would like it if we didn't get to see him. They bought all his ice cream. I really like those two guards. They're just so... so very... adorable together. Let's talk to Sans after we go up the creepy hallway. I'm sure we're not going to get mugged. It's Braddy and Caddy! I have seen a fan art of these. I don't remember who it was that linked me to it. Was it you, Yura? Or have... I don't think I've worked you any stuff... linked you any stuff about them. It must have been another friend. They've got a thing for Metaton. Well, yes. they, um... Wow, new dialogue. This particular fan art is... Them... Flashing Metaton. Yeah. <laughs> Carpet store. I found a gun in a dumpster! <laughs> uh, 
Look at their eyes! I know. Yeah, this... This is not subtle here. This is flat out saying something important. Metaton existed in a prior form. to them before, like, th thoroughly. I think I was just trying to push through. And that was a bad idea. Yeah, everyone in this game is important to talk to. They also point out here that Metaton has a soul. Which is very interesting. Because as we've seen... Monster souls can't survive outside of a body. But every single human soul is being collected, which means Metaton's soul must be from a monster. This is one of those trailer images that they show you to confuse you. <laughs> yeah. Most monsters really don't care about the destruction of humanity. Oh, look, I can exactly afford it. Honestly, I'm pretty sure they don't really care about it either. Mm. Now that key is important. But yes, we can wear a cowboy hat or wallop people with an empty gun. And we don't have the money for that, but... Now that's one of the item sets, by the way. Obviously. Now, indeed. here's the thing to think. Cowboy hat and an empty gun. Well, we've just seen a uh, yellow heart that shoots pellets, right? Interesting association. Which one was the purple one, anyway? I don't remember... Um, I think... Um, triple... I'd use the term sentry loosely, but... I wouldn't. Yeah, true. This is how Saiyan's mind works, folks. Boss monsters live for hundreds upon hundreds of years. That was the best joke she has heard in a hundred years. Yeah. Remember back in her diary? Why was the skeleton sad? Because she was bony.
Yeah, even if it's just walking off screen and bam, you're in Papyrus's bedroom, you do have to actually go there. happened when you first went to Toriel's place? How you went to bed? That is when that conversation occurred. Also... It actually makes me wonder something. Hmm? You don't have to go to bed. Yeah, but she does get a chance to say it either way since she gets to the door before you. Yeah, true. Watch the font. This is Sans Serif. It is not Comic Sans. It is just... Also, did you notice his lack of pupils when he said that? Sans is by far the most powerful entity in the entire game. There are several orders of magnitude to this strength. In the genocide run, you have to fight him. The suggested way to kill him is to cheat. And, well, if you try to fight him straight, close sands, you're gonna have a bad time. Notably, if at this point you had killed Toriel, you would be feeling like shit. Of note, though, and this is probably one of the saddest things, Toriel herself wants you to kill her to get past. She doesn't want to die, but she doesn't want to let you pass at all, so... Yeah, it's... It's a real just. Ugh. That guy's dialogue is way different if you killed his son in a random encounter. Yeah, it it gets kind of depressing. <laughs> That doesn't sound ominous at all. I was hoping that was something to read. Yeah, that thing is freaky looking. As is that. Yes. Those aren't, though. Also, to the upper left is the best shopkeeper in the game. He is very... I don't even know how to describe how he is. Let's try to sell him something so we have money. Did you talk to him twice or just once? Just once. Talk to him again. Steak in the shape of Benetton's face. Keep 
going. Ah, uh, yeah, now you have to buy something to get you further. Yeah. Yeah, he is very... He's only 19 years old, and he has wasted his entire life. Yeah... I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. Must be Sue's cousin. I don't have the money. Get CT anyway. I don't remember. Um, I kind of feel sorry for this guy. Is he one of those people they hired for diversity reasons because he can perpetually keep himself working so they pay less taxes? I assume so. MTT Resort prides itself on everything. It's true. To be fair, it is a fairly decent resort. Black Omen, I mean Core. It is kind of like that, huh? I think we're going to break up the video for now. And see if we can finish the Core. Ready? Ready whenever. Now it's time to shoot the core! Use the boost to get through! Wait, no, that's something else. hard to spare enemies now. Yes. For random encounters, anyway. The pure run is considered to be pretty much the hardest playthrough. Aside from Sans! People have been known to fight Sans for five hours or more.
Alpha's brain seems to be broken. She's used to being in control, and at the moment, she isn't. Well, used to is a kind of a loose term. Oh, uh, no, I don't think about it. She's, well... The Good Morning Star. This guy, by the way, if you practice with uh, Shiren a lot, you can take him out in a single turn. Really? Yeah. You should have tried to ride that, because these guys are annoying. It's because you're good at singing. Oh, I did do some Shiren, so... I'm much better with dodging the moon attack. Totally make it through that. the fastest way through this section, anyway? I... don't know. Ah. She's saying I have to solve one of those puzzles. That was faster than I thought it would. I can't remember if it's that one or the other one that's a pain in the ass. Oh, right, this. You remember these ice blocks, right? Mm-hmm. They are this being what they all need to the core. to skip a turn with him, don't you? I believe so. It's something to do with something. 